Welcome back to the Tidy Room Hangar and happy Friday everybody. Today I want to talk to you about the pre-order frenzy that's going on right now and it's kind of a two-part deal going on. First of all, if you've pre-ordered stuff in the past, you're probably seeing multiple five, six, seven pre-orders showing up right now. They're asking for payment and it's going to be shipped out. We're going to be talking about that. We're also seeing a ton of pre-orders coming out of the woodwork for say fans, toys, and a couple of others. And the thing about that is this is all based on the same thing. They're trying to get out ahead of Chinese New Year. Chinese New Year affects a lot of things every single year. It kind of slows down the collecting, but we're seeing that mad surge, that mad rush right before Chinese New Year. We're going to talk about this. I got a little bit of advice for you. If you don't want to end up waiting forever to get your stuff, and I'm saying almost two months to get things you order from overseas. We're going to talk about all this coming up. So I've kind of noticed over the past uh, week or two that it just seems like non-stop a ton of pre-orders showing up to the tune of like 500 something dollars worth the pre-orders I paid for. And the thing about that is it's very specific reason that all the manufacturers are trying to get their product as much as they can to the market before Chinese New Year. And it happens every year, but we're also going to see kind of a drought starting around the 1st of February. So what exactly is Chinese New Year? Why is it a bit of a disruption for business? Well, Chinese New Year is also known as Lunar New Year or Spring Festival, and it's just around the corner starting on February 1st or sort of on January 31st. Now, this new Chinese New Year will fall on Tuesday, February 1st, and it is the year of the tiger. Year of the tiger will run till the end of January in 2023. Celebrations of Chinese New Year traditionally last for 16 days, starting from Chinese New Year's Eve, which is January 31st, through Lantern Festival, which will be on February 15th. And the thing about this is that this is a time where most people get time off. Now, generally, nowadays, people will get seven days off of work, and some of them will probably take additional time off. Most of the time, most people do want to take the full two weeks, and then this is a disruption that could last up to two months when it comes to shipping from overseas. And although it may not really be relevant to anything, but the year of the tiger is 2022. They also had that in 2010, 1998, and 1986. People born in the year of the tiger are predicted to be brave, competent, unpredictable, and confident. So I can hear you guys asking me, Mike, how does this affect Transformers and my collecting and my hobby? Well, I'm going to tell you how it affected me in 2019. I actually went out of my way to buy two extra limbs, an extra arm and an extra leg, to build Superion, be the first person on YouTube to have Superion built. And I ordered this figure. It was not from Shozi, it was another company. And I didn't understand the whole Chinese New Year on all this stuff. And I waited two months to get the thing and I was the last person to build it in the entire world. So it was a little frustrating to me. I didn't really understand all this, but after a little bit of research, I kind of figured out what happened there. So it is one of those things that I'm gonna give you a little bit of advice how to avoid being stuck like me. So as you start getting these notifications and they're saying, hey, pay for your item, you need to pay for it right away. And the reason for that is the first item paid at Show Z and uh, Tip Direct and a few of these other ones that are over there, the way they operate, they're going to ship out first paid first ship and you want to get this stuff shipped out before they shut down for the new year and they will just shut down if you they can get it to the port it'll just sit there and wait for uh, seven days maybe even 16 days so it's a big deal that they take the time off they enjoy the time it's a big deal over there and it could be an even bigger deal to you having to wait for this now if you don't care if you get your stuff in April then it's not a big deal but I'm just saying you need to get on top of these if you start getting these pre-order notifications or requests for payments, pay it as fast as you can. Hopefully, it can hit the mail. And I do think that shows he still uses airmail, so you still get it pretty quick. So the other half of the pre-order frenzy is the new stuff that's coming out. Now, Fan Toys is just, I don't know, released eight figures upcoming. Uh, some of the stuff we already knew about, but now we've got some actual prototypes, color prototypes, we've got some new renders, we've got some grayscales, we've got all this kind of stuff going on. And with that, they're trying to rush before the Chinese New Year, they want to be part of the festivities themselves, I'm sure. I'm sure there probably is not going to be any real work getting done during that time frame. And the factories are shut down, so there's not really much they can do. So with all of this, this is that, that last hoorah before the Chinese New Year sets in. 
So on Tuesday, I made a video saying that, hey, pre-orders are up for all of these things. Get in on these pre-orders. And I was just trying to get the word out, talk about what I'm seeing, give some of my ideas, do some comparisons to other options that are out there. And those kinds of things, kind of what I've been doing with all of these fans toys. I, I reveals, there's just so many fans toys reveals right now, it's kind of hard to keep up with. And I didn't have the Viper. It wasn't up for pre-order when I did mine. I've been doing a lot of other things, working on other projects and stuff, and I didn't check back. And when I checked back uh, earlier today, I found that not only was the Fireflight or uh, Viper up for pre-order, it also was sold out. Now, I didn't get my order in for that, and I don't really get special treatment from Shozy, although people think I do. I don't. I, I placed my pre-orders one leg at a time, and with that, I missed this one. Now, I'm not worried about it. I'm... I'm fairly 100% confident that I'm still going to get one and I'm going to get one from Show Z and here's why. When you go to Show Z site right there you still can order rig no problem at all whatsoever and you can still order the Robot Paradise which is the fans toys version of Soundwave the Acoustic Wave and uh, the Acoustic Wave is $10 more but rig is the same price as the pre-order price so with all of that I feel fairly confident that you're still going to be able to get all of these other ones we missed out on. I also missed out on their take on the sweep or the scourge and I missed out on one more uh, power glide so again that's how I'm gonna treat those I don't have my pre-orders in but now they're charging the 20 or 30 dollars down for fans toys pre-orders so that they pretty much can guarantee whoever's pre-ordered it is going to actually buy it and of course that's a business strategy and that's the one that they take plus with that you you pay a little bit less when you go to pay it off at the end one thing that I do find that is interesting is that it doesn't seem that any of these pre-orders for X-Transbots have sold out at all whatsoever. And I start to wonder a few things. Now, obviously, people are going to say Fans Toys pre-orders sell out because they're in higher demand, or people are buying three or four or five of them or whatever. People plan to flip them and that kind of stuff, which I kind of think the market for flipping Fans Toys is not there anymore like it used to be. But still, I mean, I guess people still do that or whatever. But with X Transbots, I start to wonder if there's not a limit. Like, they'll make however many they can sell. Maybe they manufacture higher quantities. I don't know. But it does kind of seem like Fansoy stuff isn't really selling out once it's in stock either. So it's interesting, though, that not any of the X Transbots pre orders ever really do sell out. And it's also kind of interesting with X Transbots doing a lot of these other figures that are more obscure or something that's different. They're, these are not replacement characters. So I think we kind of get into one of these frustrations with all these figures that are coming out of our replacement characters. Should I go through the trouble of trying to sell my old one, buy the new one, and the replacement? But a lot of these figures coming from X Transbots are not replacements. They're the, the only option, and they may be the only option for many, many years. So those, once they sell out, might be a challenge. But then again, X Transbots does do a lot of reissues. So, there's that factor, too. x Transbots is also moving really fast with their second combiner. So, we already have the second figure that's out for this. They're showing pictures of the leader. And so, I'm kind of wondering if they'll have this thing knocked out by the end of this year or early 2023. But I'm kind of thinking they'll probably have it done by the end of the year. I don't think we'll see the same issues we saw with the Minasaur and the trailer and the long holdup and delay like we got with that trailer. I usually do talk mostly about Masterpiece on Fridays, but I do have to say that pre-orders coming in for New Age and Magic Square and the Legends, they're hitting really hard. And if you are into New Age, then you might be one of those people that gets multiple different colors and they start showing up at the same time as your Masterpiece ones. So it can get a little bit of a burden financially with all these hitting so fast. But I do want to say one good thing. Chinese Junior is going to bring in kind of a relief. You're not going to see those pre-orders showing up, you're not going to have to be paying for those things, and the sad part is we will see a drought, you'll kind of miss all of this stuff that's going on, but it's nice to let your wallet breathe for a couple of weeks, if not a couple of months. I do want to say that the Moon Studio figures and this Raiden is looking amazing, It's we've got two of them that have already been released, and we've got one more, two more, that our pre-orders are up, and they should be coming pretty soon, and I think the original date was going to be December for all of them, but... I knew that was unrealistic, but still, it's pretty exciting. I kind of wish I would have stayed in on them, but it's still 600 bucks to build this thing. It looks amazing. I'm sure it's going to be worth every bit of $600 once it's done. And now that the reviews are in, it seems like a really solid set, and each figure seems really solid so far from what I've seen.
And lastly, don't forget about all the KOs that are on the way. There are several versions of the MP44 that are on the way, and this this uh, Black Convoy Nemesis MP49, actually, and that's right, it is MP49, and this one is actually coming in stock right now, so you can order it right now and get it uh, maybe sent out before Chinese New Year. Same thing with good old RC, and she's on the way as a KO, and... I still don't have confirmation if the chest is fixed on this, but I've seen other places say that it's going to have a fixed chest, but I don't know if this is the same one. So I don't know if this is the same KO that's supposed to have the fixed chest or the improved version, the, the lifted version. So one of the things I failed to talk about in the news last week for KOs is the improved backpack. Now, when I get this, uh, I've got the Nemesis version coming in, so when I get it, I'll have in hand able to talk about it and discuss it a little bit more but it does look like it's going to have a slimmer profile it's taking out the voice box so there'll be no electronics i do kind of like the electronics but on the other hand i've got two other ones that have electronics in it so maybe it's going to be nice refreshing change it'll be interesting it'll probably change the transformation just a little bit but it still will transform just fine according to the instructions and here it is from the actual back of it and from the back on it looks pretty similar you could tell that there's not as much of a bump out but it does still kind of go back a bit still it looks interesting and it's a refreshing change I guess you could say as they make these next four colors they did want to kind of show that it will come with an improved backpack but will not be able to fit the jetpack accessory that the other ones did so to me a big deal I mean that's that's really not a big deal to me and I'm sure there's got to be some sort of way to adapt that on if you really really wanted to so yeah the pre-order frenzy is real and a lot of people get kind of getting upset if they went to go pre-order something and they could not secure a pre-order because it went so fast so that is one of the things but I do believe and there's no guarantees in life but I believe there'll be more stock once they're released some things I guess you don't even need to worry about pre-ordering. There will be plenty, I guess. But then again, there's no guarantee on that either. Once reviews come out for this guy, people are probably going to flip and switch their mind and say, oh, I really do want that now. And that guy could sell out pretty quick. Who knows? And of course, we're entering into that new territory where 75, 80% of the new releases are just replacement items. And I got to tell you, it just wears on a collector to continually replace figures they already have and they already own and that are already decent representations in their collection. Do you really want to spend all this money upgrading and figuring out what to do with your old? I actually have a more material discussion for next week, but I really felt like this was timely to discuss this, discuss what's going on with this Chinese New Year situation and how it affects you and how it affects the collector. And you got about nine or ten more days, nine more days to act, but I would say act now if you want to get them right away. And if you don't care, then... Take your time, who cares? But anyway, let me know if this video topic was helpful to you. Did you already know everything in here? I mean, I'm sure people that have lived through this uh, kind of pretty much already know all this, but there's a lot of new collectors out there that probably are gonna be like, oh, I didn't know this even was a thing. This was an issue, so felt like it was a good time to talk about it. Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe, and talk to you, Hanger out.